Fire Safe starts tonight in Hartford. The program will bring more police officers and firefighters to the streets to protect those residents who are living in fear. This fire truck here is doing more than racing to fire alarms tonight. It's been out on patrol, fire safe patrols, to reassure residents that they are not alone against arson. At the same time, though, firefighters have to handle those alarms, like the one we rode on tonight. Inside TAC-1, firefighters have only the red emergency light. There are no windows to see out. They can't see what lies ahead. When they get to the call, there is a fire, and it's a small fire. They don't have to turn this wrench on the hydrant. But this fire, August 24th on Putnam Heights, was too much. Somebody torched the back porch. Six families lost their homes. With three arson fires since, neighbors are scared. This landlord says his tenants want out. I keep the building as you know, good for them and trying to do other stuff so that they stay for and everything, but they still they still want to move and all that. We having trouble with this. I don't know if this is going to become like the next block that it's all burnt up and people just left the buildings and all that. This is the next street over, Mortson Street. Fire has been no stranger around here. In August, flames from a fire in this building scorched the side of this building, and the man who lives here says at night he can't sleep. Uh, just because we are afraid. People who still live here have noticed the increased police and fire patrols. For the next uh, few hours during the night, hopefully we'll give them a sense of being able to sleep through the night, and uh, hopefully uh, that will deter uh, what's going on around here. That's Robert Sharkovich of the Hartford Fire Department. What the fire department is doing with these patrols is sending one truck from each company out each hour of the night. So along with increased police presence, they hope they can help residents prevent arson and get some sleep. I'm Doug Green, live in Hartford. Back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Doug. A little West Hartford girl.